Hi everyone, we're here to discuss a few memories from the past five years. So let's begin with grade eight. Year eight, the year of the bum part. <laughs> it was also the year of the Von Dutch t-shirts if you were cool enough. And everyone watched the OC if they were cool enough. Mm -hmm. Everyone was really quiet and didn't speak to anyone outside their IS groups. There are a lot of awkward silences, much like this one we're about to experience now. <laughs> Thank you for your commitment to that. We appreciate your passion. We also love to use the excuse of getting lost around the school to, you know, just be late for classes. Even in November, and Miss B would always yell at us through the shutters in that e-block classroom I still don't know the name of after five years of being here. E110. Thanks. Three numbers. <laughs> um, and the most useful thing was grade eight, from grade eight, was the brain assignment. We learnt that we are kinesthetic learners! Activate! <laughs> Ultimate learning! I'm learning too, Kate! Hey, do you know what will help us learn better? What? Brain food! Almonds? Yum! Carrot? Yum! Carrot! So do you turn into a pirate when you eat your carrots? Arr! <laughs> yes. Seriously though, grade 8 was great. It, um... <laughs> grade 8 was great, I mean. <laughs> We all united as a grade, even though from all these different primary schools, didn't really know anyone. We came together and it was awesome. Year 9 then. <laughs> from a teacher's point of view, Year 9 was a little bit difficult. Um, <laughs> a lot of the girls felt very isolated and alone. <laughs> it's not that funny. <laughs> Girls retreated into themselves and sometimes um What? Can I not be an individual? Really? What the hell? You're always picking on me! I am not oh picking on Eldon? Eldon, I'd just like you to listen to this lesson, please. I'm not going to fight you again. Some of the other highlights from year nine were um so we have what that's right. We were forgotten. <laughs> but the best thing about the year was, of course, cultural festival. Sea Fest! Yeah! Sea Fest? Look, can I say something, please? I'd love you to just, like, can I just be an individual for like two minutes? Okay. <clears throat> the and Sea Fest was one that I will never forget. Mostly because I still to this day. You probably haven't laughed quite as much as when Mr. Crump and Miss Boff came out and did time of my life. It took us a while to realise who Mr. Crump was, but once we had, it almost got a few seconds before we were in tears. <laughs> Thank Mr. you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Crump, we know it was only your second year here, but you were already cross-dressing, and we just think that is the perfect example of the man spirit. <laughs> And Miss Buff, you were totally hot. <laughs> totally. Uh, although year nine wasn't the best year for a lot of us, we all stood by each other and learnt a lot about ourselves and also made some really good friends. So let's move on to your turn. Oh, my God, yes, oh, oh, my God, yes, yes, like, okay, so pretty much kind of like the middle of the school, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, because, like, you know, like, okay, like, twos between one and three, right? Yeah. So, and, um, okay, like, we were in junior school and then, like, you know, you're 11 and 12, and we're just, like, in the middle. Yeah, do you know what I mean? child. Yeah. I am a child. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we, like, learned a lot about careers in grade 10. We all got out, you know, like, um, from the teachers, they all, like, helped us. Yeah, you know, that's Yeah. Um, but the most, the most remarkable thing about grade 10 was, of course, the quiff. Oh yeah, the quiff. And the teachers would all be like, put a hat on, you'd be like, there is no way sun is penetrating this. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically an umbrella in itself. Exactly. Yeah. The teachers also told us that we need a balance between our social and our school life. But we were like, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Year 10, we chose new subjects, and I think we learned a lot about ourselves through this experience. Year? Talk to us, Elden. Preach. <clears throat> In year 10, I did home ec sewing. <laughs> and I learned something about myself. <laughs> if my kids want to do dancing, I'll have to get the other 
some mothers to throw the costume. <laughs> down in the dumps about this, I learned something about myself. I'm not a textiles person. Year 10 did that for me. Year 10 taught me that I can't sew. Yes. Thank you, Year 10. Thank you so much. What did you do in grade 10, Kate? I had legal studies with Mrs. Hess. Hi, Mrs. Hess. <laughs> we love you. Anyway, I did legal studies and I, I learned a lot of really great things in that, like, you know, the law. Um, but mostly what I took away from that is that it's not, not okay to just steal things. That's, that's more than a, a life lesson. That's a law. I think that's something we all need to remember. I just think it's deep, you know? Mm. It, was, it was a beautiful year all over. But most importantly, our teachers really did guide us through our subject, subject selections. And they also taught us how to speak. Um, but yeah, all you teachers get an A-plus at life. Year 11. OMG. Ruffle LMAO. <laughs> uh, we pretty much ruled the school, okay? Walking through the grounds, students would part the way for us. I mean, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it was the uniforms mostly. I'm pretty sure it's probably how attractive well. we are. It's mm. gonna be that too. I don't know, like, we just got over our ugly phase around year 11, I guess. <laughs> Almost it is. Mm. Uh, we all tried to wear our top buns undone, but it didn't take long before we were busted. But seriously though, mine actually did rip. I just I'm don't not even kidding. There, miss. Um, the other thing about grade 11 was we put the jewellery on, extra jewellery. You know, everyone was getting piercings. I only just got it pierced. You cannot take it out for six weeks once you just get it I mean, pierced. how did they not get that? <laughs> uh, we had our country road bags. Yes. Yeah. And Everybody had them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and of course the semi. It was on a boat. Whoa! <laughs> a few of us secretly hoped it would sink, just so we could see if our bubble dresses would sort of... Just blow. <laughs> yeah. You know, we'll be sitting there, lovely night. Hey, Elden. So basically, year 11, OMG, Ruffle, was probs, if not deaths, totes, a fantastic year. <laughs> It certainly prepared us well for year 12. So year 12, uh, this year we've had a, a lot of new things happening at the school. We've had new teachers. Mrs. Stone, hello. Mr. Smith, although you didn't actually have any of us as students, we know who you are and we love you. <laughs> Mr. Oosby and your truly inspiring little speeches about life and <laughs> filled us with self-esteem, confidence, you know, get <laughs> And you know what? We will. Yeah. Another new thing was the new building, the AMYC, or as it's now to be known, the YMCA. <laughs> Spread it around. <laughs> Don't let that die. I will come back. Um, but we did have a lot of uh, new things this year, like we had our buddies. Hey Sam! Hey Angela! You guys rock! Yeah. That's about all. Um, also, <laughs> also, we had the formal. That was pretty exciting. That was... Okay. Um, uh, but we really just like to thank Mount A for making us the people we are today. It would be so different if we'd gone to any other school. We wouldn't be these people. And I like who we are. Me too. I like you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you little face. <laughs> but now we're finished. We're at the end. And we're free. So um, get the shackles off my feet so I can dance. <laughs> What you wanna do? I'm gonna pray.